Hello everybody and welcome to another video. In this video it's going to be another Minecraft tutorial and we are going to be learning how to build the Airbus A321. Uh, now this is a slightly lengthened version, uh, or more than slightly a lengthened version of the uh, Airbus A320 over here uh, and it is uh, it features I think up to 240 passengers, something like that, but typically it's uh, anywhere between 180 and 220 usually. Uh, I have actually been on this uh, and it's uh, pretty comfortable I would say. But anyway, uh, I guess I should kind of go through some of the features of this tutorial because uh, it, it does actually slightly differ from the AT21 uh, as well as the length. Uh, there is two other things. For starters, I have actually edited the design of this a little bit. Uh, so if you have built your A320s, you can implement the uh, the engines, uh, at, like the changes to the engines and landing gear and all sorts of stuff, which I'm just going to show you in a second, uh, to that A320 design because they, uh, yeah, they are pretty much the same plane except the A321 is just a little bit longer. So the first thing which I've changed is I've changed the landing gear it used to be two uh like wheels like it is back there but now it's just one i thought that looks better because uh, the landing gear at the front they just it looked too big and the wheels at the front are a lot smaller than the ones at the back and so i decided to do that i've also now done the two engine types properly uh well better than they were before so this is meant to be the iae v2500 engine now this one is the slightly thinner one i'll probably put one on the screen now this one is a slightly thinner one it's the one that like american airlines has and british airways has and all airlines like that and then on the other side which is the one that Thomas Cook operates this is the CFM 56 now I'm very well aware that the CFM 56 on this looks a lot like the AT21 Neo engine which is the Leap 1A but you know this <laughs> I thought that uh, I needed it to have uh, have it a little bit bigger. So if you want to use the uh, what I've done for my IAE engine as the CFM, if you want to, and then say this is the 8021 Neo engine, you can. Uh, so you can just say that's the 8021 Neo engine if you want. Also with the winglets, I've changed the winglet design. Uh, so you have uh, the winglets like this, or you, which are called the sharklets, I was called them the sharklets, or you can have them like this, as I've got on my A319 over here. You can have the uh, wingtip fences, which are the conventional Airbus um, A320 winglets, uh, which they've now uh, got rid of. I don't think they actually put them on there and make them any more like that, uh, but there's still quite a, few, quite a few operating around the world like that. Oh yeah, I edited the back of it, so uh, the rudder might be a little bit smaller, I can't remember. Um, tailplane, I think, is the same. Um, and the uh, APU, um, it looks a little bit better now because uh, the way that I've done the slants before, it looked like it was sticking out too far, and now that looks it's actually very very nice compared to what it was before if I do say so myself uh, so uh, in the interior as well I've changed up the uh, cockpit uh, as well uh, so that should be different it's, uh, it's a lot better than it was again uh, so you should be able to uh, implement that on here and uh, in the tutorial I will be showing you how to do some sort of cabin like this uh, I won't be doing anything major because I'm sure that you want to put your own sort of cabin but if you're out of ideas then I will just show you this in fact I don't even need to should I um, yeah, you know what I might do. So the things you'll be uh, needing to build this plane uh, are white wool, quartz slab, quartz stairs, uh, stone, stone brick slab, black concrete, dark oak fence gate, nether brick fence, uh, and you'll also need later on iron door, lever, black stained glass, uh, glass, grey carpet, grey concrete with a skeleton skull, stone brick stairs, and a button. Uh, I, I might have to get a couple of other things uh, later on, but I don't think I need that. Uh, so uh, let's actually build this thing. So to start off with, with the landing gear, uh, put down uh, a block of concrete here because that is the um, uh, the front wheel, which I showed you there. It's just singular. Put two buttons on the side of it like that and place a nether brick fence on top of that. Uh, then you're going to go back and just count back by 26 blocks. I'll use uh, quartz slabs to count this out. And I'm not going to be actually uh, counting it on, on the tutorial because it makes it a lot longer than it used to be. Uh, but, and you can count out uh, 26 blocks behind this anyway. Uh, so what you're going to do is you're going to have two slabs uh, or blocks, whatever, just uh, leave a two gap either side. Then you're going to have two pieces of black concrete like this. And this will be your hind landing gear. So put a dark oak fence gate in between. Put your nether brick fence on top like so. And I need to put the uh, uh, fence gate underneath like that. And then have your buttons uh, either side of the wheel like you did at the front. Uh, because we don't need this anymore, uh, this counting back, uh, you can just uh, break all of this away now if you counted anything. And if you're building this in the sky without any landing gear, keep the landing gear on just for a minute because uh, they are uh, needed so I can show you where to place it. So don't just like think, oh, I can ignore this layer. Yeah, you still do need it. Uh, so we'll get onto the first layer of the actual fuselage next. So what you're going to do is you're going to place the block on top of the wheel and you're going to come forwards by five. One, two, three, four, five, like so. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to place a block either side uh, of the wheel here. So you have uh, five, uh, in fact, no, I've got one in front, sorry. Uh, yeah, you have four jutting out the front here. It's kind of weird how it's done. 
uh, it's just uh, the way that the uh, uh, it rounds off, so uh, it, the wheel is a little bit behind there. Uh, but uh, yeah, <laughs> that's the way it should be. You have four jutting out, and that comes out there. Now, this lot of two uh, blocks here, you're going to count back so it's 19 along. So count these first two, so basically I have 17 to the back of this. And you can just do it on the other side and fill it in as you go, because this is going to be uh, the underside uh, of the aircraft. Then what you're going to do is you're going to come out again and go by 10. And you should just become, uh, just become, you should just come one behind this wheel here. And it should just uh, jutting out like that. And I forgot to do it on the other side, but I'll do that in a minute. Uh, then what you're going to do is you're going to come in again. Uh, and in line with that, you're going to do another 19. And then just coming in, you're going to have two uh, on the end like that. So I might as well just, uh, oh, didn't need to break that. Might as well just uh, uh, carry on uh, just uh, filling the box in here because I can just copy it uh, all on the other side. Uh, so uh, you should do the same as well. Just fill in all of the middle because, uh, as I said, that is going to be uh, the floor of your aircraft. Uh, then I'll be showing you how to do the slabs uh, for this because there's uh, quite a few on the first layer, not just at the front and back, which I normally do, uh, but also on the underneath as well. So for the slabs, you're going to have one on the front like this and three in this little gap uh, down here. Uh, now, you're going to have uh, along here, you're going to have 16 slabs. But if you don't want to count that out, uh, you just have to go uh, up until you leave a three block gap at the end, I believe it is. Uh, I can just show you this here. Uh, so, in fact, that was a two block gap. Where did I get that from? It must have been 17 then. Was it? Yes, yeah, 17 slabs. I don't know where I got 16 from. <laughs> Ah, uh, never mind. In fact, it's on the next bit. That's where I got confused by. So leave a two block gap there or count out by 17 if you want to count out just to make sure that you've got everything uh, nice and uh, correct in terms of length. Uh, then you can do that. Now, uh, on the underneath, uh, you're going to uh, have a, a little bit of a bulge because this is the uh, center fuel tank. Uh, so what you're going to have is you're going to have three slabs across here in line with the edge uh, of the um, of this little bit that juts out here. And uh, then you're going to come out uh, all the way until uh, the last block before the end uh, of this little row, if you know what I mean. So then come up to here, leave that gap, and then you're going to place the three slabs at the end there in line with this like you did uh, previously. Uh, so then just uh, fill this all in with slabs. Uh, I need to actually get in there first so I can fill in all the slabs in here. And uh, this will be uh, your center fuel tank. As I said, it just uh, juts out a little bit more and uh, makes it a little bit more realistic uh, as well, like a little wing box and fuel tank. And uh, now behind here, uh, you're going to need 16 slabs. So I got confused before. Uh, so just uh, leave a three block gap. Uh, at the end like so. Uh, so if I just uh, put 16 on the other side like that. Uh, there we go. And uh, then on the back here, you're just going to have two uh, there and then just another two on the end like that. Uh, so that should complete your size for that layer and we can move on to the next one. So for the second layer, you're going to place one block on top of, on top of that uh, slab you should place down. Then you're going to out, go out by four. One, two, three, four. Uh, like this, might as well just do it on both sides because we need to do that. Then you're going to come out again and you're going to go by 47. So, uh, yeah, very long one. So once you complete that lay, you should just be going two blocks over those slabs there. Uh, you might be going, well, why don't you just say you'll go two slabs over the end like that? It's just so that if you count them out, then you make sure that you've got it exactly right. Because I've done it before. I've just gone, oh, I'll just go to the end and I haven't actually counted it out. And I realized like when I'm nearly done that I've done it all wrong. Uh, so uh, make sure you do count it out. Uh, but that does go to over the end of that there. Uh, then you're going to have five. So one, two, three, four, five. You should just go to the end of those slabs there. Uh, then you're just going to have uh, another two like that. That's three, you idiot. So, <laughs> yeah, there we go. Uh, so what you're going to start seeing is that rounded bottom that you can see at the back there of the A321, uh, which I start to make here. Uh, so now we've got those blocks down. Let's actually start uh, on the slabs. And out front, there is actually only uh, two slabs, I do believe. Um, in fact, no, there isn't any slabs. Apart from here, uh, there is a, a stair. Now, if you're wondering what that stair's there for, there used to be a slab on the previous tutorial, is that that there is the foot pedal inside the cockpit, uh, and that's the best way I can cover it. I don't want to put a block there, because that looks weird. So you're just going to see like a little bit of grey there, but uh, to, to me, I could just ignore that. I can just say it's like a pitot tube or something. So, yeah, when, when we actually get round to doing the cockpit, uh, you will see that. Uh, but for now, just place that stair there. There's nothing else on the front. And uh, then on the back, uh, there is just a little slab in there like so. And then there is two slabs in this little bit here. And then one, uh, or oh, two on the back, sorry, uh, like that. So as you can see, uh, one there, two there, and uh, two on the back as well. So we are starting to uh, make our way up towards the back and eventually be able to put on the APU. Uh, so let's get onto the third layer. So for the third layer, you're going to start one back from the front like this and just have a one there. Then you're going to have a two, and then you're going to go back by 50 uh, on top of the slab starting there. 
So you should just come one over that slab like that. Then you're going to have seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Then you're going to have uh, one on the back like that. Uh, so uh, as you can see, we're starting to round in now because I didn't do two. We're starting to do one. Uh, we are, you might be able to see that one there. Uh, but yeah, we are just before the APU now. So we are making uh, quite good progress on the fuselage. Uh, so at the front, with slabs, you're just going to have two in this little gap here, uh, just to round off the nose. There's not going to be any at the front there, just so uh, it looks uh, quite realistic. Uh, I did. I used to have one there before, but then I changed that because that kind of looks a bit weird. <laughs> looks more like a 737 or something, not an A320, uh, which is what I'm trying to make. Oh, an A320 series aircraft. Uh, then in here, you're just going to have one slab. Uh, then if I can actually place that one there, then you're going to have uh, another slab and then you're going to have two on the end like that uh, to complete uh, that layer. Uh, if you're wondering why I sound a little bit quiet when I'm looking what to do, it's because I've got like a little plan that I've done here. Uh, so if I do sound a bit quiet, then I apologise, but uh, you can at least see what I'm doing uh, if you don't hear. And that was a voice break as well. Best part of puberty, isn't it? So for this layer, I actually need uh, some... Oh, you will need some grey wool. I just realised I need to do that. So if I just get grey wool like that, and you're gonna place a piece, uh, you're gonna place a piece of grey wool there. Now uh, that is for uh, you will just see what it's for in a second. Where can I place that? Uh, just there. Oh, so I don't need it. And what else do I need? I don't need that uh, stone button. Uh, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna place some black stained glass here, here, and here, and then you're gonna place it on the other side as well. Now that there is just because the fact that uh, when you when uh, the cockpits that you have, uh, from what I've seen, uh, they don't have have like a loads of white going right up to the glass like once they hit the glass and it's just like gray all the way back and so i added that little bit of gray there so it kind of looks a little bit weird uh, if you look at it uh, properly but i mean um when you look from above it kind of looks a bit no i don't know so that, that's an optional thing if you want to put it in there i put it in there just so that it doesn't look weird you've got like a like a white splotch under the glass uh, which doesn't really make sense uh, so then behind this glass how many blocks are you going to have you're going to have 51 and once again, you're just going to come one over the slab, and like you did before. Then you're going to have seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Then you're going to have two on the back of that. Now, is that right? Because uh, I'm believing, yeah, we're on this layer here, so it goes on top of the slab. Uh, and then on the back, that one there is going to be, uh, you're going to have to get some grey concrete, and that is going to be your auxiliary power unit or APU. So that's going to be it for that layer. Uh, there isn't actually any slabs on here because we are actually making our way up uh, quite far now. Uh, there isn't actually any needed. Uh, so if I just show you quickly, we are on this layer here. Uh, so uh, as you can see, this is where, gonna, where the tailplane's gonna slot in, uh, but there's none there, there's none on the end, uh, and there's none in there. And at the front, you have the cockpit glass. Uh, so we just have one more layer of the fuselage to do, which is the roof of the plane. Uh, and then we can uh, start making our way into uh, doing other bits of the aircraft. So for this layer, you're going to have to start with the slabs, it's just easier. Uh, so what you're going to do is you're going to place slabs all in uh, just behind this glass like this, uh, and including uh, on top of here as well. Uh, and uh, do we do the slabs first? Uh, yeah, we might as well. Uh, so these slabs, they go all the way back uh, until one at the end, I do believe. It might be two, it might be one, just depends on if I design this plane, because I uh, do it on different ones. Uh, but I believe it is just a, a one gap at the end there. Uh, yep, just a one gap here. This is where these slabs come up to. Uh, so just place your slabs all the way down there. That just uh, kind of rounds off the plane a bit more, uh, and it doesn't look uh, quite as uh, boxy uh, as it would do anyway. And excuse me, I just about there. Uh, uh, <laughs> my voice is very, very broken. Um, so anyway, yes, yeah, so inside here, you're going to place that block there. And then I believe, uh, does it go up past the slab? Yes, it does. You're going to have 54 blocks behind the slab. And since there's the roof, you can just fill it in uh, like I have here. And uh, now you should have four blocks protruding out the end here because this slab, this was 50 long. I don't know if I said that, uh, but then this is 54. So you should just have uh, your four along there just to check that you've done it right. Uh, then behind this, you're going to have another three like that. Uh, and then we can uh, get onto the slabs, I guess, because uh, at the front we've already done it. Uh, but back here, there's just three in there and then two on there. Uh, so that completes your uh, nice uh, fuselage. So we're gonna start uh, building up uh, the rudder now. That will be the best thing to do. Then I'll probably do this hull and then get started on the wings. So for the rudder, what you're gonna do is you're just going to leave a little uh, gap there, just of one, uh, and then you're gonna start building your rudder. So you're gonna have nine here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, then you're going to leave uh, two, uh, you, you're gonna leave there. Uh, you're gonna leave two at the front, uh, and then you're gonna have seven here. You might as well just leave two at the front there. And uh, then you're going to have six uh, like so, so just leave one at the front. And then you're going to have another six placed on top of that like so. Then you're going to have yet another six, but this one is going to be jutted one out of the back, so just leave one at the front uh, like so. 
then you're going to have five like that then you're going to have another five uh, placed on top of it like that uh, i believe it's one over and yes five five yep that's right uh, then you're going to have uh, yet another five uh, on top of there like that and then you're going to have uh, a four so that should be a nice uh, rounded rudder uh, apart from a couple of other things that we need to place, which are just a slab here, here, and here. And it should round off your rudder quite nicely. Uh, and if I do say myself, that's a quite good rudder uh, for the uh, A321. Uh, I'm just want to check. So there should be three along there, two there, and four there. So just to check if you've got it right or not. Uh, so one, two, three, four, two, and three. Didn't I have it? So there was um, three there. I think I did. Why is that not like that? I don't actually know. Why on earth did I do that? Did I do that because on the A321 it looks a bit weird for the Thomas Cook livery, that's why I took it off. If I place a grey bit of wall there... Um, yeah, you know what, I'll do that. So I have three there, don't have four. Uh, I did that wrong then, so that's uh, kind of a bit skewed a bit. Uh, if I just get and some yellow terracotta, uh, does that look better? Yeah, well, why not? <laughs> That'll do. Uh, so, um, in fact, no, I'll do grey wall. Keep on changing my mind. But yeah, you should just have three. Uh, you should have three sets of three going up. Uh, so that was my bad there. So that should be six, and then it should be seven. Then it should be six, five, 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 four. Not four sets of five, just three sets of five. Uh, so anyway, yeah, just have a three there. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, but now we can get started on the tailplane. So you're going to need your uh, stone brick slabs for this. Uh, so what you're going to do is you're going to place uh, two along here, uh, joining off of this uh, little end block here. Then you're going to go out by one like that. Then you're going to have a two. Uh, then you're going to have uh, another one uh, like, oh my god, I can't place. A one there, uh, then another two there. Uh, then you're going to have two coming off the back of that. Uh, then you're going to have five, uh, so four on the back of this, one, two, three, four, five. Then you're going to have three going in, like so, so one, two, and three. So that should create your tailplane. Uh, I'll just break uh, a few of these blocks away, so if you want to screenshot it and take it, you can. Uh, so that's the tailplane. So then what you're going to do uh, is just uh, fill that in uh, like that. Uh, just fill all of this in like so, uh, and that will be your tailplane. So uh, I might as well just uh, do it on the other side quickly because it only takes two seconds. So two, one, two, one, two, two, five, that's four, then five, and then three uh, along the back of here. If I can actually place these blooming blocks and not break the ones I need there. <laughs> Oh god, there we go. So that's uh, the tailplane on uh, both sides. So that should just complete uh, the rear of your aircraft. And now we can get started on the wings. Now the wings are split into two main sections. There's uh, like a little bit of an underwing, and uh, then it pops up again. Uh, I don't know if you can see this. Uh, this is a little underwing here, and then it goes up there, just so then it doesn't look like the wing just goes right up against the windows like this. Uh, like along here, because that looks a bit weird and uh, not realistic. There is actually quite a bit of a gap uh, between the wing and the actual uh, fuselage there. Uh, so uh, what we're going to do is just build the underwing first. I'll probably do it on both sides so you can see, and then we'll do the main wing on top. And so to start with, you're going to have one there, then you're going to have another one. And then you're going to come out again, and you're going to go out by five. One, two, three, four, five. Just bear with me here, because I'm trying to read my own writing uh is that right yes that's right it's gonna have uh, one one then five then what you're gonna do is you're gonna jet out again and then you should have four along here going back in so yep yeah, that's right and so then you're gonna place all of your uh, stone in there like that in fact what i'll do is i'll break that away so if you want to just uh, take that screenshot it again uh, pause the video and then just uh, go build that and then what you're going to do, as I said, just fill it in. Uh, I might as well just do it on the other side quickly because it is uh, quite easy. Uh, I thought it was harder than it was. It's just the way that I've drawn this is uh, a bit uh, uh, weird because uh, my handwriting is uh, all scribbly. So just have one there, one there, then five, one, two, three, four, five. And then you're going to go out again and then make this little back bit uh, into a four. So just uh, fill that all in. Uh, there isn't actually a, uh, um, what's it called, emergency slide on the AC21 because it's got four doors. Uh, it doesn't actually need um, any like escape uh, wind uh, escape doors uh, like on the A320. This is one of the edits that I made. I actually added uh, some hatches here, uh, some not hatches, uh, iron trap doors. Uh, so then it looks like those are the the uh, little escape doors uh, that you have on the aircraft. 
Uh, so uh, you've got the little skate slide down the wing there, but the AC-21 doesn't have that because, as I said, it's already got four doors along here. Uh, so that doesn't actually matter. Uh, so now we're going to uh, do the slabs on this little bit of, a wing, uh, of the wing, So and they are a little bit more complicated, so just bear with me. So I guess I'll start from the back, because that'll be the easiest. Uh, so what you're going to do is you're going to place slabs all the way along back here, and then you're going to have one, two, and three jetting out like that. Then you're going to have two, two and then uh, another two. So it should just come up to the end like that, and then have you have, so one and three sets of two like that, and then you should just have uh, another slab uh, in there like that. So I'll just do it on the other side. Uh, if you're a little bit confused, so I'll do it the other way. So we'll have one there, uh, no, not one there, one there, sorry. Uh, then you have two, uh, two, and then two again, and then you just have slabs going all the way back out here, and, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, creating a one there, and that should just be three out uh, from the end of the stone. Uh, so that should be your wing there. Yet again, I'll let you uh, pause the screen uh, to uh, take a uh, screenshot or something like that, so you can build that if you want to, if it's easier for you. And now we can actually get started on building the main bit of the wing, uh, which should be uh, quite difficult, so uh, just bear with me here. Something I just kind of made up on the fly, because I didn't quite know where it started. That block there, if you place a block there, it should be on the end of the second two along here. That should be this block here that juts out, uh, so uh, that's uh, kind of the best place to start. So I am going to be building uh, the actual wing first before all these slabs in, so it might look a little bit weird. Uh, but again, just bear with me. Uh, so you're going to have that, and then you're going to come out uh, by two, like so. Uh, then uh, what you're going to do is you're going to uh, have, uh, I believe, uh, that counts as six sets of two, does it? Um, uh, what is that? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, it does. So what you're going to do, including that, basically add another five sets of two. Uh, so one, two, three four and five, kind of messed that up there, and I might as well just break that away so then you can see later on I want to show you. Uh, so then what you're going to do is you're going to place uh, a bunch of blocks back here, uh, in fact what you're going to do is you're going to place one there, uh, and then that's going to come out by two, and uh, then what you're going to do is you're going to make this little back bit here five, so one, two, three, four, and five, and uh, then you're going to have another five, so if you just go in a little bit, one, two, three, four, and five, uh, and then what you're going to do is you're just going to come in by one, and then uh, along this here, you're going to make that into a two, and then come in by another two again, and then add another block there. So that's kind of like a two, two, and a two, and a one. It's a bit of a weird thing, but I hope you get that. So that is the wing. Uh, if you want to uh, pause the screen yet again, and I do that, I'm very well aware that I put stone down here, so it's a bit hard to see, uh, but hopefully you can uh, get something out of that. And uh, then you can just fill all of that in. Uh, like so, uh, so if I can actually place all of these blocks down here, uh, then I'll actually be able to fill it in. And now for the slabs, what you're going to do is you're just going to place a set of four slabs in here, uh, like this, and then what you're going to do is you're going to have two in there, you're going to place one there, and you're going to go up there, then you're going to go in by one, so kind of it goes over the edge, uh, like that, and then you're going to go one there, then one there and one there. I believe that's how that works. <laughs> Let me just go have a look, uh, just so I can see. So then I've got a one, three, two. That's essentially it then. Uh, so, oh yeah, that kind of makes sense because the engine goes there eventually. So you've got two, three, one, two. Uh, so uh, let me just get rid of this message which has just popped up on my computer, which telling me to get some antivirus software, which I already have. Um, anyway... <laughs> That's the slabs uh, for that, so I will be doing this on the other side, and I'll be putting the time on screen now to skip to if you know how to build this uh, and you just want to move on, uh, but, if, but for everybody else, if you're confused a bit, uh, then we shall build it again. So, uh, where do we start? We have one right there, and we come out uh, two, uh, and then we have another five sets of two after this, so one, two, three, four, and five, then you come out by one, then make that a two, then this back bit here goes into a five, so uh, that's five along there. Then you're going to make another five, so one, two, three, four, and then five. Then you're going to have a one, then that's, uh, they're going to keep a two along there, you're going to just up by two again, and then have uh, another two uh, along there by just placing that little block. Uh, so you should just have uh, one, two, 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 one, one, it's kind of a weird thing like that. And so then with the slabs, just place uh, four in there, uh, you're going to have, uh, what was it, three, and then I've completely forgotten, haven't I? Right, I know it's one in there. Um, hang on, let me look on the other side. <laughs> oh, yes, 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 there we go. Uh, so you're going to have three along there, and then you're going to come out uh, again. 
again. Not three. Not, not like two, which I was placing there. Like two, three. It's three, two. Uh, so anyway, yeah. After that little bit of confusion, that should be your win there. So you have two, one, three, and then two. Uh, so then it uh, comes over the wing a little bit. Uh, that rounds it off quite nicely. Uh, so now uh, what we're going to do is we're going to build uh, the winglets. Uh, I'm also going to be showing you how to build both of them. So uh, I'll just be showing you uh, what time to skip to uh, on screen if you want to skip that. So what I'll be doing, I'll be doing the sharklets first. Uh, so if you want to build the sharklets, then uh, stay tuned. Uh, but if you want to uh, go and build the wingtip fences, which I've put on the uh, EasyJet A320, uh, A319, sorry, and uh, British Airways A318, uh, then uh, skip to the time which I've put on screen now. So for the shower clips, what you're going to do is you're going to place a slab there on the edge of the wing. Then you're going to place a stone brick stair. Then you're going to place a stone block. Then you're going to have a stair on top of it, upside down stair behind, and then another stair on top of it like that. Uh, so that should be uh, your nice sharklet, uh, which is what Airbus calls those uh, uh, winglets which they have. Now, if you want the wingtip fences, so you're going to place an upside down stair like that, then place uh, a one uh, the right way up that way. Then you're going to have uh, a, a normal stair and then place that upside down on there so that makes a uh, quite nice little uh, wingtip there. I did have it bigger before but it looks a little bit weird and uh, I don't know it does actually go above and below but I find that going above actually looks better uh, because you usually see it. I think it's like a tad bit higher and uh, when you look at it like that it still does actually look uh, quite nice even though it doesn't go below. So like I did on the uh, Thomas Cook A320 over there the main one which I have I'm going to be building the two different engine types uh, the IAE 5200 which is like the smaller one and the CFM 56 which is uh, the conventional and uh, larger one. Uh, so what you're going to do uh, I will do the I'll do the CFM 56 one first because that's uh, the easier one. Uh, if you want to do that, so what you're going to do is you're going to place uh, two carpets on top of here uh, like that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Then you're going to place a uh, four white wall in front. One, two, three, four, or whatever your wall you're going to use. I recommend just uh, building this out of white first and then putting the livery on it. And it uh, tends to be uh, a lot easier to do. And yes, it is uh, definitely four. I was just checking. <laughs> Checking that was, uh, and I need uh, some of the, the uh, squat stairs. What am I doing? Uh, yeah, I don't need that carpet anymore. And so, what you're going to do is you're going to place three stairs along here and then have a slab in there. Uh, so, right, place that. Yeah, this is uh, the CFM 56 engines. Did I say that? I hope I said that. <laughs> Well, now uh, you know. Uh, so place uh, all of these blocks under here, like I'm doing right now, uh, and then make a tube shape. And we're just going to round this off uh, as we did uh, on the top there. So you're going to have three stairs, then a slab, and on the other side, uh, put a slab there, and then have three stairs. Now inside here, what you're going to do is you're going to have uh, some black concrete and then you're going to put uh, a button on it uh, like that so put your black concrete in there and put a button on it and now on the back what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to get uh, some stone brick stairs and slabs uh, so you're going to have a stone brick slab underneath there then you're going to put an upside down stair no not right well right way, right way up you're going to have upside down stair there uh, on that side and on this side as well you should just uh, it kind of uh, blends in with the wing like that and then on the back you're just going to have a piece of grey concrete uh, like that so that should be your CFM uh, 56 engine also as I said it looks a lot like the uh, Leap 1A engine so if you want to say that's a Leap 1A then you can do uh, but then uh, now I'm going to build uh, the in fact oh no 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 I'm not quite done yet place two carpets on the front of it like that there we go if you're wondering what they are that looks like the um, engine pylon and because it's uh, quite big and uh, just uh, the, uh, uh, the design the design constraints I've got here it's just best if you put carpet on top because then from above it does look like it's actually joined properly uh, but then uh, down here you can't actually see anything and that kind of looks a bit weird but from here it looks all right so anyway <laughs> let's actually build the uh, IAE 5200 uh, if you don't want that uh, then I will uh, put uh, the time to go uh, to the next bit of the tutorial on screen so what you're going to do is you're going to place your two carpets down uh, like you did before on the CFM 56 well I'm very aware that many of you probably haven't seen this but there you go um, <laughs> Well, that's what I did there. Uh, so then you're going to have four coming out here. So one, two, three, four. Then you're going to replace this first one here with a uh, stair upside down facing inwards. Uh, and that looks like a pile on there, uh, just so it looks uh, a little bit thinner. Uh, where is it? It is on this one here. Uh, as you can see, that's that little stair going in there. Uh, so then what you're going to do uh, is you're going to uh, create a, a rest of the tube shape. Uh, so just place a piece of white wall there if you like, and then just uh, fill it uh, fill it in all around the edges. On the sides, you're going to uh, go out by four, but on the bottom and top, you're going to go out by three. And uh, that's just how it works, I believe. Or is it three there? No, it's four there and three on the top and bottom. Uh, so then on the bottom of that engine, uh, you're going to have uh, a, a quartz stair uh, like you do on the top, facing the same way. I'm very well aware that you might say, well, they're the same way, and that looks kind of weird, but... 
whatever. <laughs> It doesn't matter. When I did not um, a normal waist uh, the, there, that looks kind of a little bit weird, and I did that because then it looks a lot more like a bit of a pylon. Uh, then what you're going to do is you're going to have uh, some slabs on top. So you're going to have three slabs here, uh, three slabs there. You're just going to leave that one uh, little gap there at the back, uh, like so. Uh, just have your three slabs there. Inside here, you're going to have a piece of black concrete, and then you're going to put a button in. And before I forget, which I haven't done, I need to put uh, the carpet on top of the engine. So just put another two like that. So it covers that stair and that uh, block in front of it. Uh, that looks a lot like uh, the engine pylon. Uh, so we're not quite done yet. I just need to uh, get the resources to build it. Uh, so what you're going to do is you're going to place a piece of grey concrete there. Then you're going to place a stone brick slab there. You're going to place stone brick stairs upside down on this bit. Uh, if I can place that in like that, she just joined into the wing quite nicely. Then you're going to put a wither skeleton skull there. If you're wondering why that's there, because that's uh, like the exhaust of the engine, there's like a little bit of a, I don't know, it's like a little bit of an exhaust pipe or something, uh, but I wanted to recreate that there, so then it kind of looks like the back of the engine. I know, it looks like a face looking out of you from the back of the engine, but oh well. <laughs> It doesn't matter, and that is your IAE uh, 5200 engine, or CFM 56 if you want to, uh, and then this one is the A321neo or CFM 56 engine. Bit of a confusing thing, but just take it how you want to do it. So now we've actually built all of the engines, we can actually get on to building the doors and windows. So for building the doors and windows, what you're going to do is you're going to break a, uh, a, a two block hole here, right above this end slab here, and you're going to put a door there, and then you're going to have six blocks of glass behind this, one, one, two, three, four, five, and six. So just leaving one gap in between like that. Then you're going to have another door in here. Uh, then you're going to leave a block, uh, a, a gap of five. One, uh, in fact, no, six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. I believe that's six. Yes, it is. Uh, then what you're going to do is you're going to have uh, another door right there. Not breaking that plumbing slab, you idiot. Uh, so just put that back down there and put your door in. Then you're going to have yet another six windows. One two, three, four, five, and six. So it is just six, so all the way along. I thought that was five because I remember I counted it wrong, then I realized it was actually six windows because I originally thought it was five, but it's not. Uh, so sorry for that confusion there. Then on top of these doors, you're just going to place uh, a lever uh, just so then you can get in. Uh, I prefer, uh, I, I would normally do it on the side, but uh, I've said many times before, if you want to have stairs there, it's kind of in the way. Uh, so I might as well just do it on the side here uh, just quickly because they're quite easy to do. So just put a lever lever on top of there and one two three four five six have your other door like so and put your lever there uh one two three four five and six have your another door uh, like so put another lever on top and then one two three four five and six with your final door there like that with your lever on it uh, so you should have four doors along the a321 uh, that is uh, how uh, the aircraft uh, was uh, made uh, so I have four doors each having six in between i believe it was probably different before but i think i must have looked at it and gone yeah they're pretty much the same length so i might as well just do six in between uh, like that uh, which is what i have done on the thomas cook a321 uh, over here. Uh, so that is uh, the actual main uh, aircraft built on the exterior. So uh, if you don't want to build the interior, uh, then you can stop watching here if you want. Uh, but I recommend you uh, add a couple of things, so especially the cockpit uh, is the best thing to do. And I'll also be showing you how to build uh, the cabin if you want it. So what we're going to do is start off with the cockpit. So you're going to have to place a, a stone brick stair there. So then you're not like really low down to the cockpit floor uh, right like that. Uh, so uh, what you're going to do then is place clay uh, all the way up to the ceiling like this, uh, just so you can block it off from the rest of the uh, cabin. Then what you're going to do is just have uh, some grey wool and place uh, all of this in uh, down here as your flooring. You're going to break these blocks out and you're going to create uh, some foot pedals here. And as I said, that's what that stair was for, so it covers uh, this, up, this up mostly. You're going to place an upside down stair there. Then you're going to place some more stairs in here with a, a stone brick stair, a stone brick slab, sorry, on top. Uh, and that creates your uh, lovely uh, pilot seat. Then if I just grab a door quickly, I'm just going to have to put that in. Uh, you put it in like that, so then it just goes uh, straight in like that. Uh, then you have uh, a stone uh, button there, so you can get in. Then on the ceiling, you're going to have some stone buttons, and uh, you have to press one of them to actually get out, because uh, originally I had buttons on top of there, so then the seats are smaller. Uh, but I, uh, I found that if I just put one on there, and then I can actually open the door like that. And now because this is an Airbus aircraft, it doesn't have conventional yokes, it has side sticks, so I use tripwire hooks for that uh, uh, to uh, create that. And uh, then I'm, you have uh, some item frames here with uh, a compass in, uh, so you've got like little dials there. And then I put a redstone repeater down here, uh, and this creates the effect of flaps. Uh, so if I just show you quickly, 
um, this would be like flaps up, then this would be like 5, 15, and then 25 if you like. So like that will be conventional flight, that will be takeoff, like that's takeoff, that's takeoff, and that will be landing, uh, So if you know what I mean. Uh, so the, yeah, they would increase lift. Uh, and uh, in my Norchester airport world, uh, with planes that are like taxiing for takeoff or have just landed, uh, I've had um, I've had this going out all the way, and I've actually edited, edited it so the uh, flaps go out. Uh, but I won't be showing you how to do that in this video. Uh, you also need a button on top of it, I just realized, uh, just so I add uh, a little bit more effect uh, of um, the fact there being more buttons and switches in here, and uh, that should be your cockpit complete. Uh, so uh, now we can move on to the cabin. So the first few things you want to do off before you actually start placing seats down is place some stone um, uh, pressure plates down here. Now this cabin that I'm doing is, uh, I could say it's the Thomas Cook 1821 cabin because this is the one I can remember. Uh, so if you want to just do this, uh, then uh, place uh, the uh, stuff down like this. I'm just doing grey because that's going to be what the colour of the floor is. So you can uh, match the pressure plate to uh, the according uh, floor colours. Uh, for the walls, what you're going to do is you're going to place clay uh, all the way up here like this. Uh, so uh, if you just uh, do it um, around all of the doors, uh, that just uh, check sections them off. Not check sections, I can't even say that. But when you reach the back, what you're going to do is you're just going to have um, an, uh, a little bit of uh, something different. So you're going to place uh, blocks all the way along here, like this, uh, to make a back wall. Uh, back wall, sorry, not wall. And you're going to have uh, three droppers along here. And then you're going to put some hoppers underneath them, and this creates the effect of a, a little galley. Uh, so on top of it, I usually just fill this in uh, with uh, like stone brick stairs or something, so then that looks like they're like the top of it. Uh, so speaking of which, put them down here. Uh, you're going to have uh, quartz stairs. Uh, um, upside down along the edges of the wall here. Now this is uh, creating the effect of like a rounded cabin. I used to have a stone, um, I used to have a quartz slab, sorry, uh, but I kind of chucked them out because originally I was like, well, they can be um, like luggage uh, compartments, but I don't actually uh, think they look that good anymore. This uh, it looks a lot better because uh, the aircraft ca uh, cabin looks a lot more rounded, even if it um, <clears throat> doesn't on the floor. Uh, but in an aircraft, it doesn't actually look like that because it's always flat on the floor and it's not really rounded, it's uh, mainly on the ceiling uh, that it is. You need to remember to do it in the doors as well, I don't believe I did it in that one, did I? Uh, oh no, I did. So the next couple of things you're going to need is a stone slab and an end rod. So place a stone slab right there, and then what you're going to do is you're going to place end rods uh, uh, backing off from this. So uh, just place that there, and then you're going to place them all the way uh, until you reach uh, the bulkhead at the back. Uh, so uh, this uh, creates some lighting. I originally did like glowstone in the walls or something like that, uh, but it's actually a lot better to do this because it adds uh, like an effect of strip lighting uh, and it doesn't actually interfere with the roof. Uh, I believe that this one I, pl I placed um, a block here when I did it originally, so let me just get uh, some uh, clay like uh, that. And I might as well just place all those in there like that. Uh, so yeah, that will uh, go right to the back of your bulkhead here, uh, and that's uh, your bulkhead uh, with your galley. Uh, so uh, also what you can do uh, is you can uh, pl start placing uh, some seats. That'll be the next thing to do. So uh, you need to get some uh, quartz, uh, not quartz slab. You need to get some um, stone brick slabs, uh, and you also do you need. In fact, no, that's it. Uh, yeah, in fact, you need the uh, grey carpet, uh, as I said. Uh, so I think it'll be best if you place the uh, carpet down before the seat. So just uh, place it all the way down uh, in the aisle, uh, so all the way from the front to the back, because uh, that's not where any seats are going to be placed, so you don't need to really worry about that. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to place uh, your carpet uh, in line with the windows. Now, I'll explain why this is in a second, uh, but yeah, just uh, go and uh, place all of that, just uh, leaving a block over one uh, for your seats. So what you're going to do is at the front, uh, you're not actually going to have any carpets, I've got to say that. And uh, what I do is I put in two flight attendants here because they tend to be at the front of the aircraft, so that's why I always do put two in the front there. Uh, and you can actually just put some carpet down there because uh, there's uh, not enough room to have some seats here. Uh, so what you're going to do is you're going to place uh, your seats uh, all the way along here uh, in these gaps. Uh, like so, and you can do that all the way at the, uh, to the back, and you just put uh, some stone slabs out on top of them like this. Uh, so this will create uh, your cabin. Uh, right, put them on top of there, and uh, yeah, just uh, carry on all of this uh, all the way to the back. Uh, I'll just uh, quickly do this and then show you uh, the final completed cabin. So here we are. This is the completed cabin uh, that I have for the A321. Uh, now the reason why I put the seats uh, along the wall here is because you can actually have a look out the window uh, when you're actually sitting here. Because uh, some people, they do it up against the window, uh, but then you just can't see out of it. You're just going to be looking at a, uh, a wall. Uh, which I don't think is quite nice, so that's why I tend to have uh, mine here. It does mean that you get like a little bit of a gap back here, uh, but uh, oh, well, <laughs> it's fine. I just uh, it's just a, a little bit of um, a gap back here that you're going to have. I mean, you could replace this wall with a seat if you wanted to. I think some airlines do that. 
uh, but then keep this wall in. Uh, but I tend to have this wall in here just so you can uh, properly section off the doors so with bulkheads uh, like that. And you have your galley back here. Uh, so that'll be the end of this tutorial here. Uh, I hope you did enjoy it and uh, we'll get some use out of this aircraft. I hope it was good enough for you. I have uh, many tutorials uh, planned in the future, so if you want to uh, uh, suggest uh, what ones to do next, I'll be putting a poll on screen now uh, for the next uh, couple of aircraft, like two or three aircraft I'll be doing next. Take in mind, though, that the next tutorial I'll be doing will be a tutorial improvement, because if you don't know, I do tutorial improvements on my old aircraft and some of Lord Dacus, who was my inspiration for this uh, sort of series. I'm improving some of his aircraft because I've done a lot of modifications to them and I just hit my laptop and you probably heard all that. <laughs> Scared the daylights out of me. Uh, but yeah, just uh, answer that poll if you want to as uh, for what aircraft I'm going to be doing next. I have an idea of what ones I want to do next, uh, but as I said, I'll leave that up to you. Uh, and I'll also be doing uh, the tutorial improvement. I've already decided that, but then on that I'll be deciding. Uh, I'll be chopping up a poll for what one to improve next. Uh, so as I said, that'll be the end of this uh, video here. Uh, I hope you do enjoy uh, this uh, build and uh, use it a lot. Uh, it will complement your Airbus A320s that I've got. You can take the modifications from this that I've done and improve it. Everything's good. So thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video if you decide to start one as well. Bye.